The Lord of the Rings. Hey there, literature lovers. Welcome to Snaplit, the channel that summarizes the best of literature. Today, we're going to be diving into one of the most iconic works of the 20th century, J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings. This masterpiece has been recommended by none other than Elon Musk, and we can see why. It's a thrilling tale of adventure, friendship, and the battle between good and evil. So, buckle up and let's get started. First things first, let's talk about the man behind the story. J.R.R. Tolkien was born in South Africa in 1892 but grew up in England. He was a professor of English language and literature at Oxford University and is known for his love of language, particularly Old English and Norse mythology. His love for these languages is evident in his writing, as he created his own fictional languages for the characters in The Lord of the Rings. Tolkien was also a devout Catholic and his faith plays a role in his writing. In fact, many see the trilogy as a metaphor for the struggle between good and evil in the world. The Lord of the Rings takes place in the fictional world of Middle-earth, which is loosely based on medieval Europe. The story is set in the Third Age of Middle-earth, a time when the Dark Lord Sauron has created a powerful ring that he intends to use to rule over all of Middle-earth. The story follows a hobbit named Frodo Baggins, who is tasked with destroying the ring before Sauron can use it to conquer the world. So, let's dive into the plot. The Lord of the Rings is actually divided into three books, The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King. We'll give you a brief summary of each book. Book 1, The Fellowship of the Ring. The story begins with Frodo Baggins inheriting the One Ring from his uncle, Bilbo Baggins. He soon learns that the ring is incredibly powerful and must be destroyed before it falls into the wrong hands. Frodo sets out on a quest to destroy the ring with the help of his friends, Sam, Merry, and Pippin. They are joined by a fellowship of other creatures, including the wizard Gandalf, the elf Legolas, the dwarf Gimli, and the humans Aragorn and Boromir. The fellowship is formed with the goal of destroying the ring in the fires of Mount Doom, where it was created. Book 2, The Two Towers. The fellowship is broken apart after a battle with orcs, and the members are separated. Frodo and Sam continue their journey to destroy the ring, while Aragorn, Legolas, and Gimli search for their missing companions. They encounter a race of people called the Ents, who help them fight against the evil wizard Saruman. Meanwhile, the hobbits Merry and Pippin are kidnapped by orcs, but they are eventually rescued by the tree-like creatures known as the Ents. Book 3, The Return of the King Frodo and Sam finally reach Mount Doom, but they are betrayed by their guide, Gollum. Gollum steals the ring and falls into the fires of the volcano, destroying himself and the ring. Meanwhile, Aragorn leads the armies of Middle-earth in a final battle against Sauron's forces. The hobbits play a crucial role in the battle, and are hailed as heroes. The story ends with the hobbits returning home to the Shire, but they find that the Shire has been taken over by Saruman and his minions. The hobbits lead a rebellion against the invaders and are ultimately victorious. The story ends with Frodo leaving Middle-earth to sail to the Undying Lands with Gandalf and the Elves, while the others return home to rebuild their lives. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given us. Gandalf The Lord of the Rings is a complex work with many layers of meaning. One of the most prominent themes is the struggle between good and evil. The story portrays evil as a corrupting force that can take hold of anyone, even those with good intentions. It also emphasizes the importance of loyalty, friendship, and sacrifice in the fight against evil. The Lord of the Rings is a celebration of language and storytelling. Tolkien was a linguist, and he created elaborate fictional languages for the various creatures in his world. 
The story also features many songs and poems, which add to the richness of the world and emphasize the power of storytelling to shape culture and identity. Finally, let's take a look at some behind-the-scenes stories from the creation of The Lord of the Rings. Tolkien began writing the story in the 1930s, but it wasn't published until the 1950s. He initially wrote it as a sequel to his earlier work, The Hobbit, but it grew into a much larger and more complex story. And there you have it, a summary of J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings. This epic tale has captured the imaginations of readers for generations, and it's easy to see why. It's a story of adventure, friendship, and the struggle between good and evil, all set in a rich and detailed fictional world. We hope you enjoyed this summary, and that it inspires you to check out the full trilogy for yourself. Thanks for tuning in to Snaplit.